Did you know the Babyland General Hospital in Cleveland, Georgia is where Cabbage Patch Kids are born? Is that the one I still have? I don't know. I, I had that book too. Two copies? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Maybe in our house there's two copies of that right now. Let's head into the nursery. Cabbage dilation, nine leaves apart. Cabbage dilation, ten leaves apart. Nurse Tina to delivery, staff. Mother cabbage and labor, all staff, code green. Some people just don't get it. Hello and welcome to Babyland. Is this anyone's first time? Well, don't be nervous or afraid. I'm Nurse Tina, and I'm an LPN here at Babyland. That's Licensed Patch Nurse. And I'm going to assist Mother Cabbage in her delivery today. The way we know Mother Cabbage has gone into labor, the crystals at the bottom of the patch begin to glow brighter, and the bunny bees above my head start jumping around, and they sprinkle down their magical crystal dust, which determines if we're going to have a boy or a girl. So what are y'all hoping for today? Boy, girl, I hear a little bit of both. I heard twins. All right, let me tell you what. If you want a girl, why don't you cross your fingers and say pink, pink, pink. If you want a boy, say blue, blue, blue. And while y'all are doing that, I'm going to do a quick sonogram and see what we're having. It looks like we're having a happy, healthy baby. And with all that blue, it's going to be a boy. All right. I'm going to get my blanket ready. And I'm going to start off by giving Mother Cabbage a dose of Amagicillin. Amagicillin will not hurt or harm Mother Cabbage. It just helps her lease to relax before, during, and after her delivery. All right, that's already starting to work. The next thing I'm going to do is give Mother Cabbage a dose of TLC. Can y'all tell me what TLC stands for? Very good. We have lots of nurses in the audience. And here at Babyland, we believe in giving our babies large doses of tender love and care. The next thing I'm going to do is check and make sure Mother Cat is 10 leaves apart dilated. And she is, so we're off to a wonderful start. The next procedure I'm going to do is called an Easyotomy. And we're the only hospital who does this procedure. All right, Mother Cabbage has had several deliveries today, so I'm going to need y'all's help. 
I need y'all to help her relax, so I want y'all to take a couple of deep breaths in and out. Can we do that one more time? Because it's really starting to relax. So deep breath in and out. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is on three, I need y'all to yell push, okay? One, two, three. Push. All right, I'm starting to see some movement. I'm actually starting to see a head, which is great. If I see an arm or a leg, that's known as a branch delivery, and we might be here the rest of the day. So y'all look down. One more time, we're gonna get this baby here. One, two, three. Push. All right, and here he comes. And look at the beautiful baby. All right, I'm going to wrap him up and I'll tell y'all just a few things that I noticed about him. The first thing is he was born bald, but that's okay. He's beautiful anyway. That just means the interns didn't fertilize his part of the patch last night. The next thing I noticed is those beautiful brown eyes. Y'all see those brown eyes? And he has an Audi belly button where I gently clipped him from Mother Cabbage. The next thing is a little embarrassing, so... I'm going to ask, y'all promise not to laugh? Maybe just don't laugh a little bit. Like all babies born here at Babyland, he has Xavier Roberts' birthmark on his little bottom. All right, I'm going to wrap him up. And in just a minute, we're going to go over to the Babyland Nursery for his very first checkup, which y'all are welcome to watch through the window. But before we do that, this baby boy needs a name. Do y'all have any suggestions for names? All right, I heard Matthew. Chris. Matthew Charles. Christopher. AJ. All right. I'm sorry. Sander. All right, let me ask him about those names. What do you think about those names? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. All right, I'm going to tell him. He said it was a hard decision and he liked all the names, but he's going to go with AJ Matthew. And with a name like that, he's going to grow up to be a lawyer someday. Y'all give him a hand because today is his birthday. Hey, happy birthday.
Uh -huh. There's the one that just got delivered, huh? I'm a sucker for bunnies. Good question. We did find the t-shirts. Hmm. I'll see what we got over here. Yeah, you do have some over here. Mindy's organizing for them. It's frustrating. Mm -hmm. I found what I need. This one. You gonna get that one? You have to get the same one. Okay, fine. I believe because these are my two choices and one of them's white. Yeah. That one is fun and cute. I like it. It's just you guys know I get messy and that shirt wouldn't last very long at all. This is probably gonna be that one. I like the little pig. Yeah. Are you rocking Cindy? Cindy Jasmine, yeah. Cindy Jasmine. She was born on December 14th. Oh, wow. I'm not sure why she's still so small. I don't know. She's a slow grower. Mm -hmm. oh. Is this with cat pacifier? Oh. Can we get her a dress? Sure. Do you like this dress or do you like the red one? This is kind of Christmassy, but I like yeah, this one better. I like that one. So, why not? You can in the bag. Oh, how sweet. Do you like the little Moses bag? Mm-hmm. See how they get kids? Mm-hmm. T-shirt comb. What's in that bag? Could it be a t-shirt in there? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe a baby too. Maybe a baby. baby. No, that's not the baby I came here for. That's the baby I came here for. <laughs> what our kid would look like, isn't it?